Hello everyone, welcome to day 22 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. And today's video, today's episode is about the ADHD brain. You either uh, diagnosed yourselves with um, ADHD, attention deficit uh, disorder, or you have these formal diagnoses. I personally by somewhere in between, once upon a time, I did get a diagnosis of ADD, um, but I don't really trust the physician who um, diagnosed me, so I prefer not to take it at face value. I still think that I am on the spectrum somewhere, so I certainly have attention problems. And in this video, I want to share some tips that I always try to keep top of mind in order to be able to do my work and stay productive. Okay, so tip number one, we tend to underestimate the time that something will take for us to accomplish. I want you to overestimate this time. It might sound unnecessary at first, but I have certainly experienced it myself. I say, oh, this is a very easy task. It's very straightforward. In half an hour, I'll do it. But be because of the whole getting my focus together thing, sometimes such tasks take me two or three times longer to accomplish. So it is best to overestimate the time something will take. This will also help me be more relaxed and calm and do things in a more calm way, which will lead to a more productive time, basically. Tip number two, use the Pomodoro technique. Set your timer to 25 minutes and then just go for something, give it all. And then after 25 minutes, you can take a break. The Pomodoro technique works so well for people like us because it's so overwhelming sometimes to face a task that will take longer, yeah, a work period that will take hours long. But if you give yourself 25 minute period uh, of work every time, it's more manageable. It's more like, yeah, okay, I can I can take it for 25 minutes and then I am free. So that helps me a lot as well. Tip number three, this is in relation to tip number two as well. Use some form of accountability, especially when you're working from home. Take advantage of those virtual co-working sessions. I uh, recently introduced Focusmate as the app, the website I am using for this. There are other websites available as well. So take your pick. Try to match up with people, pair up with people so that you can go through that 25 minute session together and motivate each other while doing that. Tip number four, use the time blocking technique instead of making an endless to-do list. I have a video on time blocking. I will link it at the end of this video and in the description section. Use this technique to plan the day, the whole week, next week, or the whole month, as you wish. In my case, the moment a task comes up as something to do, it immediately goes on my calendar. So I at least know a time period that it will be done. Even if I don't get to that task on that day, I still see it visually, I'm able to see the time period that I estimate it would take for me. And as a result of that, if I need to move around that task, I move it in blocks to another day, another week, whatever. In that way, I don't have to keep a to-do list that just uh, gets longer and longer and becomes more and more overwhelming to my brain that's already deficient in attention it's just perfect recipe to create overwhelm for yourself i have four more tips uh, for those of you who also deal with some sort of attention deficit 
those will be in tomorrow's episode. Until then, mind your own revisions. Bye.